let's first pass any prompt over here related to medical field uh, let's enter what is fever let's wait for the response it might take some time so yes we have got the output so it says that Fever is a natural response of the body that helps in fighting off foreign substances such as microorganisms and toxics, toxins, etc. So this is the output which is generated uh, by the help of using API key from Hugging Face, uh, which is an open source AI platform. And next to it, we can see the source docs. So whole of these thing, uh, I have also given an input of an encyclopedia, a PDF file. Uh, so this AI chatbot uh, makes use of both of the inputs which are entered, for example, the uh, Hugging Face API and uh, the source documents, for example, the uh, encyclopedia. Let me show you the encyclopedia. So in the data, uh, this is the encyclopedia which we have used. It is of 759 pages and uh, it answers almost everything which is related to uh, medical field. So here uh, we can see that it is of a total of 759 pages and uh, the keywords which can be found in this document are on page number 702. So if we go on page number 702, we should be finding some evidences of fever. Let us check. Yes, we can see that uh, here there are some evidences of fever. So this is how it works. Welcome back uh, to another video. In this video, we will be learning about uh, my most recent project, which is based on uh, a chatbot uh, which answers medical queries. Uh, in this project, uh, we will be learning how I executed this whole project. And I will also pin down the GitHub repository uh, in the comment section uh, and also uh, the models and libraries which i have used in this video are hugging face langchain and streamly so hugging face is an open source platform uh, which uh, provides models uh, secondly uh, the langchain uh, which is powered by llm models which also helps us in making these kind of applications and thirdly uh, there is streamlit uh, which helps us in developing the front end of the project so let's dive in this video and uh, let me show you the scripts which we are uh, required to make first. So here, these are all the imports. So the, in this file, uh, we will be creating memory for the large language models. Uh, so here we can see that uh, first we will be giving the input as an PDF file. So which is this encyclopedia this PDF file uh, and uh, it will just show us the loaded PDF pages and the created text chunks and later on it will be storing it in the database so that uh, again and again you need not uh, fetch that data again and again from uh, the AI model and uh, the encyclopedia it will remain stored so where will be it stored it will be in the index.fais file and index.pkl file. So we have mentioned that as well. db.fais path. Secondly, uh, let's try to execute it first. Let me show it to you. So first, we'll go in cd medical chatbot make sure to do all this process in an environment so pip env shell i've already created one you need to create first and then go in your shell so here you can see that pip env found itself running within the environment so i'm using it now let's let us just run this file python file python create memory for lm 
in what we want. So let us see. Uh, it should be giving us uh, the uh, loaded pages PDF. Yes, uh, it is of uh, 759 pages, and the created text chunks is over 7,000. And yes, uh, face vector store is ready. The database already exists. Yes. <clears throat> Secondly, first we have created the memory for LLM now. Secondly, we will connect it with uh, the LLM. So this is the model which we are using uh, from Hugging Face. I will show it to you later on. Okay, this is the repository ID, which is which can also be said as the uh, model and HF token. So HF token means the API key basically. So let me show it to you, hugging face. So first you need to make an account over here, sign in with Google and you will be seeing this kind of dashboard and you need to click on your profile then go on to the access tokens and here you have to create a new token name. Just give it the permissions of uh, reading and writing and create the token over here. And later on just you will obtain a api key which you have to enter it in a dot env file you have to make an env file and uh, you have to just paste it over here so after connecting it yes a hf token uh, so you need to mention it over here and uh, then uh, you have to select the model which you have used uh, so i have used this model you I would recommend that you should go with this model as well. So let me show it to you. So this is the model which I am using. So just you have to copy it and then again paste it over here. So that's the process of uh, making use of this model. And uh, here, uh, this is an important part of loading the LLM. So here, what does the temperature mean? It means that on a range of 0 to 1, uh, the 50% use will be made from the uh, evidences which we get from the encyclopedia and 50% will be from the AI. So Hugging Face API key will be providing us with the 50% of the uh, response and 50% will be obtained from the encyclopedia so that's what this temperature means the max length of the response will be 512 words and later on it will be loading in the database and here finally we will be getting the response so let us try to do it so will be run the script python connect memory with llm dot py so here uh, let me show you uh, here uh, write a query uh, so we will be writing a query over here so yes it is executing quite properly environment variable hf token is set and is active token independently from the token you have just configured and uh, it is asking me to write a query so it is executing well now thirdly uh, medibot.py so let me just close down this one these are the required imports which we need. We'll be loading the database. And this is the main file. Using Streamlit, we will be deploying this uh, as the front end. So ask medical chatbot and pass your prompt. So this is what we have uh, on our website as well. Ask medical chatbot and pass your prompt here. And in the end, we will be seeing the result to show. So these are the three scripts. Now just, we'll just execute this one. 
so for so so the command for deploying this uh, website will be streamlit run medibot.py so we it will redirect us to a local host so let's just follow it okay it has created two of them okay so right right now we are on the local host and we will pass any prompt here and we will get the answer to it so let us say what is John Dees. it will take some time first it will be uh, loading the database if it finds it in database then it will be a faster process but if it doesn't then it will have to fetch the data from the encyclopedia so okay uh, it happens really quickly so it has given us the answer and uh, the source docs as well it is running quite well so all these three of them have executed properly and also this is the summary uh, I have created this uh, PDF uh, which I forgot to show you. So these are the phases, phase one, phase two, and phase three. Set up memory for LLM, vector database. Connect mem memory with LLM, uh, which we have already created this one. And then set up UI for chatbot, which is streamlit, which is uh, this file. This was the project layout. These are the tools and technologies uh, which I already mentioned, like Langchain, Hugging Face, Face for Vector Database, Streamlit, Python, and VS Code. This is a technical architecture. I will provide a link to you about the GitHub repository, and you can find it over there. Uh, these are the improvements of and potential next steps that you can add in the project. It completely it is completely dependent on you if you want to do it. Then the summary, summary of the whole project, uh, what we have actually done in this project. So we are having a pip file which contains the packages, piplog file, readme file. So first you need to execute these commands. Uh, make sure to do it in the env shell. Uh, so after doing this, you have to execute these three things, uh, which I have told you. Uh, for example, first running the create memory file, then connect memory file, and then for the streamlet, uh, medibot.py. So you will be getting to localhost 8501. Okay. So this is the whole project. Now I will be showing you how to deploy it on render. So this is my workspace. You have to create an account on render make it using Google. So this is what I've already deployed. So this is my website for that. Uh, let me show it to you how you can do it as well. So you have to create new web service. Uh, this is my repository. You have to make it one of your own. You have to first fork your repository. Uh, do not clone it, uh, just fork it. And after forking it, you have to execute all the steps which I have mentioned uh, previously in this video so this will state that AI medical doctor you can mention any kind of name language will be Python 3 uh, do not make any changes to root directory build command let it be like this uh, requirements.txt and for this start command you have to use the server port 8080 so take notes uh, you have to use this port only I will make it uh, free uh, environment variables uh, I will be mentioning the HF token and the API key which you have obtained you have to enter it over here so in my case uh, I will be entering this and then just you have to then press deploy web services and then it will automatically happen it will take some time it would take around 10 to 15 minutes and it will happen with time so let it happen until then we'll cancel the deploy because i have already deployed i want to show you what i have already done 
so yes this is the cancel deploy so yes this is what i've already deployed and it will just show you a link so you have to go to that link which is already this one uh, it will take some time to load so yes we can see we can see it over here we can pass the prompt over here and this is how you can make a website of your own you can deploy your project using hugging face lang chain and streamlit about any medical queries that you encounter in your life you can enter it over here and get the answer based on the hugging face api key uh, api model and uh, then the encyclopedia which you have given as the input so thank you for watching the video